Now, I don't know whether you saw this. I'm still waiting to get round to it, but I saw the trailer. It looked incredible. And when a story is, is true as well, it brings it home just a little bit more. The recent war film, uh, Dunkirk, painted an incredible picture of the true horrors of war. The film was based on the experiences of the soldiers who were trapped on the beaches of France, surrounded by what well, was the German war machine, wasn't it? Did I don't know whether you knew this, but the pilot in the film who ditched his Spitfire in the sea is based on the life of Wallasey pilot Jack Potter. Now, last year, a street was named after Jack, and now, today, a memorial to Mr Potter will be unveiled at King's Wharf Seacombe Promenade a little later on, just to further his legacy. His son, Robert, travelled up from his home in Brighton for the unveiling and joins me on the line now. Robert, good morning to you. Good morning, Tammy. You must be incredibly proud. Well, yeah, I always was. I knew the story from when I was a kid because uh, I had Dad's logbook and I had a carbon copy of the report he wrote about that day. Um, but I knew nothing about the film until I went to see it with one of my sons uh, up in Lincolnshire, where he lives. And we came out of that, and we we looked at each other and said, "That was that." <laughs> oh, so you you knew nothing about the the fact that this was y- your dad featured in the film and what he did with the no. Spitfire. You had no idea until you come out the pictures. No, wow. not at all. So, how did that conversation go then? When you came out the pictures, you had a chat about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, when my my sons were very small, they had a. Uh, one of these sort of show-and-tell things at primary school. Hmm. And uh, what I gave them to to take in, to talk about, was my dad's Air Force cap. You know, those funny little blue things that sit on the top of their head. Yeah, like like the Thunderbird. Yeah, like the Thunderbird's cap. Yeah, yeah. And and I blew up a copy of his report of the day into enormous size so they could read it easily. Hmm. And they took it into school. And that was what they talked about. So they, my son knew all about it as well. Um, but we had no idea that it would it, turn up in a film. It was brilliant, really. And then the following day, when I got back home to Brighton, there's sort of frantic phone calls and things saying, the BBC want to talk to you. <laughs> and, and so I talked to the BBC, and in the middle of that, they, they called up, uh, Councillor Jerry Williams from Wirral mm-hmm. on the, from Wallasey on the phone and he told me that they were proposing to um, at the time name a street after Dad because the Wallasey have a programme of doing that for their you know war heroes that's as right they do yeah and and what we eventually got by uh, was this very nice little bit of um, esplanade uh uh, which looks out straight across the, the Mersey to the Liver building, the Cunard building, uh, and it's on the cycle route as well. So, you know, it's a fantastic thing. What do you think your dad would have thought of all that? He would be um, a bit bemused because, you know, he died 40 years ago, mm. but very, very humbled and gratified, I think. He survived the war, didn't he, and settled in in Brighton. Uh, he did, yeah, he did, yeah. The, the family moved, or he was he was courting my mum at, uh, in 1946, hmm. and her family moved down to Brighton, and and he went with her. And now this, why I'm from there. yeah, this um, you don't have to apologise for being from Brighton. Mate. It's okay, <laughs> don't, don't don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, well. Well, I come from the original Brighton. You've only got new Brighton. Yeah, you? that's <laughs> yeah. Well, at least there's a there's a tenuous connection. You'd be fine with that. And this uh, this this you know the, the unveiling today. I mean that that's yeah. going to be that's going to be a lovely moment for you, isn't it? It is. It's the biggest gathering of potters, probably that there has ever been. Because with there's nineteen point uh, nine descendants of. My grandfather, Alf Potter, Captain Alf Potter of the Mersey Ferries. Um, I say point nine because my son's wife is eight months pregnant. Oh, right, OK. And I was so going to ask you about the point nine. How you got <laughs> to that one, yeah. Uh, and so, so that is all the Potters that are blood descendants of my dad's dad, except for my two granddaughters back down in Sussex. And you know what? It's really important to talk to the kids and the grandkids about this. They do a lot about it in school, of course they do, and, and, and rightly so. But telling the stories and telling it in an accurate way, and when you see a street sign with a name on it, or you see yeah. a memorial, it sparks a conversation. Well, who was that person? Why is that street named in that way? And uh, it's all about the legacy, this, isn't it? 
It is. And I've, I mean, my kids knew about my dad, but he died two years before my oldest son was born. Mm. So none of them, there were pictures, but none of them had ever met him. Um, so this actually has made him a, a lot more real to them and to their kids as well. It's, it's really nice. And they can always come and look at yeah. the actual plaque on the seafront at Seacombe. Of course they will, yeah. And what, what's, uh, what's your plan for today, then, once everything's uh, been sorted out and unveiled? Are you going to go and uh, have a couple of beers and, and toast well, us on it? Well, we're going to, we're going to uh, the town hall for um, drinkies and nibbles. Lovely. And then um, we'll, I think we'll, some of us, at least, will try and find somewhere where we can all go and sit down and have a chat. Um, Seacombe Ferry Terminal has been suggested. It's got a big cafe. Um, but a lot depends on people's fears about getting home. Yeah, the weather's closing in, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. weather. Um, it's, it's nice here, mm. but God knows what it's going to be like on this sort of near, near 300 miles going home back to Brighton. Do you know I what? Know Brighton is going to have heavy snow tomorrow, apparently. It's often said it's grim up north. It ain't at the moment. It's, it's, it's grim a, down it's south. Yeah. It's grim it's down south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rob, yeah. listen, it, lovely to talk to you, mate. Listen, have a good day. And uh, it's, a lo- it's a lovely story. You and the rest of the family, the grandkids as well. And the point nine, uh, you should be really, really proud and, and rightly we so. Are. Thank you very much indeed Thank for you talking very much, to Harry. us. You're welcome. Yeah. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye. What a great story that is. There's uh, Rob Potter, uh, his dad, hero of Dunkirk. Didn't know it was about his dad until he came out to the pictures after having seen the film. What a story. Right, how did you get on with the early Shirley's? It was this. She keeps a-